y'all? It's your girl Nita. Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I've got this really nice full cut crease look. I have never done anything like this before on my face. And every time I see someone do like one of these like full cut creases, I'm like always super jealous because I'm like, man, I really wish I could do that. And boom, done. I did it. I did it. I did it. But yeah, just in time for Valentine's Day. Super cute, super fun. I added some little glitter hearts off to the side here. Um, I don't remember the name of the company where I got the heart glitter from. I have to go through my emails and see because it came in like a little baggie and it was like a sample that I had ordered along with some other glitters. So I have to look for that. And then the other glitter hearts, the bigger hearts I use are from this glitter pot from um, Amazon. I'll leave a link to this as well if I can find the dang brand on here. <laughs> but yeah, um, make sure to keep watching and you can see how I achieve this look. All right, so I'm gonna be taking this ColourPop gel liner in the shade Charmer and I'm just gonna be using that to map out my uh, cut crease. So I already primed my lids with the P. Louise base in the shade Rumor 5. I took my brush without any product on it and just kind of drew a bit of an outline. It more so did made like an indent in the primer. So now I'm just going to take the liner and I'm going to follow that outline and I'm going to take a smudge brush and I'm just going to smudge that liner so that way I can kind of um, soften out the edges so when I go over it with my shadows it won't look like just a harsh line. I'll be using the Be Perfect Stacey Marie um, Carnival Palette for this look. So I'm taking the shade Guilty and I'm just running that over, um, just a little over and above that line. And then I'm going to be taking the shade Liquor to deepen up that crease area where it's just right specifically over the line where I put Charmer. And to blend everything out the edges, I'm going to be using the shade Funky. So now that I have my shadows all blended, I'm going to be cutting the crease. Since this is a full cut crease and I want the line to be very precise, I figured I'd go in with a smaller brush, something like a eyeliner brush. And that's what I'm using right now. I'm using this eyeliner brush. Um, I did swap brushes for a thin paintbrush, which is this one right here, a detailed brush. And that helped a lot more than the eyeliner brush, most because that little eyeliner one, the bristles were kind of like, the brush hairs were like all over the place. So I wasn't getting the smoothest, most crisp line. So after I kind of do my outline here with this detailed paintbrush, I'm going to go in with a regular concealer brush and cut the crease as if I normally would.
At first I was going to stop here and just add some black eyeliner, but I decided to kind of go an extra mile and I'm going to be taking the ColourPop Gel Cream Liner in the shade Charmer and I'll be using that to draw out a wing and then I'm going to be smoking it out with the shade Guilty with a smudger brush. So if anybody has or maybe has not noticed, my eyebrow is now not done and my crease looks a little funny in comparison to how it looked like a minute ago. So when I did this look, it was like a Friday evening and it came out great, but I forgot to turn my camera back on after I finished my left eye to show how I did my liner for my right eye. So a couple days later, I had to refilm it and there wasn't any point in refilming like the whole thing, especially considering the, like the cut crease part looked perfectly fine. So here I am um, several days later <laughs> refilming the eyeliner portion for you guys. We have the finished look. I added some little heart-shaped glitter at the end as well as a few rhinestones. Don't mind the crease in my lid. Uh, for some reason my just lid just creased because I have hooded lids and yeah. But overall the look came out really really cute and I love it a lot and I hope you guys like it too. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I hope you guys have a very happy Valentine's Day and I'll see you on my next video. Bye.